everyone and welcome back to a brand new luxury fashion video. I hope you guys are all doing well. So today's video guys is going to be similar to the last video that I posted on Sunday which was the Dior fashion video and I just was so inspired and I was looking at all of the other brands that were doing their collections in Paris this week. Obviously it has been Paris Fashion Week and Zimmerman were doing theirs and you guys know how much I love Zimmerman and so I thought I would go through my thoughts on the new spring 2023 Zimmerman collection. I am beyond excited and there are some really lovely pieces that I want to go through with you guys today. So if you are new here, my name is Alicia. I post two videos a week over here on YouTube, one luxury fashion based, based video and one vlog style video as well. So if you enjoyed today's video, do consider hitting that subscribe button and joining the family. Okay, without further ado, let's get into it. I'm just going to move over slightly so that as I did before, I can pop some video footage up here so I can show you what I'm talking about as we go through. Also, I just wanted to apologise for the lighting, guys. It is pants outside today. The weather is so grey, it's awful. So this is what happens in the UK at this time of year, unfortunately. I have got my ring light on, but I do think it just looks a little bit artificial. And so, you know, I'm apologies and I hope it's okay and it's not too distracting. So going in with the location to start with. Now I loved this location. I thought it was absolutely beautiful and to me it was just Zimmerman in a place. It was just gorgeous, really, really gorgeous. Lots of greenery around, lots of brightness. You know, it was a nice sunny day, which obviously helped, but so much brightness, so much greenery. It just looked like happiness and summertime, which is what comes to mind when I think of Zimmerman, to be quite honest. So it was gorgeous. The models walked past the audience and then they walked out and around and back down. So they had a good amount of walking time. And actually the way that this one was filmed, I found to be much better than the way that Dior one was filmed from someone watching at home. I could see what the models were wearing and I could see them a lot easier. With the um, Dior show, they were just moving so quickly, I think, and it kept flitting from one person to the other. And so I couldn't really take time to look at what the outfits were. I had to keep pausing it and things like that. Whereas actually the Zimmerman one I found to be filmed a little bit better. But yes, I really liked the collection. I don't think it's my favorite collection that they've done, but there were some aspects that I really, really liked. So let's get into the clothes. Okay, first things first, as with Zimmerman always, there was so much colour. And this is one of the things that I really love about Zimmerman as a brand, is that they are not afraid to show colour. They really go for it. And to me, it's just spring, it's summer, it's, as I said, happiness. And I do love a little bit of colour. Now, the first outfit that came out, I was like, whoa, what? I need this in my life. That skirt stunning that color purple lilac i love those colors but beautiful beautiful and i love the high low detail of the skirt as well i'm really hopeful that this is going to be a big thing for spring summer next year i have got a skirt from many years ago i'm trying to think how long ago it was and it's got to be it's got to be about 10 years old i reckon this skirt and um i think i bought it from river island it's its colours are kind of blue and uh, purples and lilacs kind of colour and it is a high-low detail skirt and I wear it every time we go on holiday. I don't ever wear it in the UK but every time we go away I wear it on holiday and so I am pleased to hear that I can wear it again and be completely on trend next summer so I just loved it. I thought that it was such a beautiful detail and the um, corset that the model wore it with I absolutely loved as well. Maybe not quite as wearable, possibly wouldn't wear it with the corset I did notice that they were wearing all of their skirts on their hips now I'm not very happy about that because I actually don't think that that flatters anyone even the skinniest of the skinniest models I think that they it just looks weird when it's on their hips because I it looks disproportionate I find when you wear things on your hips it should be on your waist um so but I am hoping that actually you would be able to just shuffle that up and wear it on your waist and it would look fabulous so this is what I'm hoping in my mind and I am going to be saving up 
for that skirt because I absolutely love it. So there was a real distinct kind of 1960s theme going on within the Zimmerman brand this time. And actually Zimmerman is, is often kind of got that 1960s kind of theme to it. Lots of colour, lots of bold prints, lots of flower power kind of feeling. Um, and that was definitely coming out to light again for this collection. I do like it. I'm not a massive fan of the 60s theme if I'm completely honest. There are some fashion trends that I do believe belong in the past and for me personally 1960s are one of those so I tend to steer away from those kind of real 1960s themed clothing from Zimmerman and go towards the more classic pieces because I think that they are beautiful and they have the same colour but not the same kind of style or that kind of real flower print on them but there was a definite theme even the models I mean with the big kind of afro hair certainly rocking that 1960s looks and those big old sunglasses but they looked absolutely great however I just it's just not something that is particularly wearable for me personally um so it's not something that i would buy into however if you love it then go for it because to be honest if i saw someone wearing that in the street i'd be like mate you look fabulous you are rocking that to death it's just not something that i don't think i could pull off Okay, low-waisted skirts. Now, I touched on this a moment ago, how I just don't believe that they suit really anyone. But the other theme going through was kind of drop-waisted dresses. And again, I'm just not a fan of that style. I just don't think, you know, even the model, it just looked weird on. And I thought, if it doesn't look good on you, then who is it going to look good on? It's just not a style that I don't think is flattering at all. It just makes your torso look ridiculously long and then your legs short and who wants that nobody wants that I don't think I think everyone wants to have long leggy legs not short stumpy legs in my opinion but um, yeah I do think that's a very weird trend and I'm hoping that it's not going to be in all of the Zimmerman pieces and that they're going to be some pieces that are more high-waisted in their in their kind of approach um, but um, yeah definitely another theme going through not one that I was in love with though I have to say Okay, they really, really made use of some interesting fabrics in the Zimmerman collection this time. There is one in particular, I'll pop a picture up, that was white and it had kind of little, like kind of tassels all going down from it. To me, this is going to sound awful and I really don't mean it to be because I bet it is ridiculously expensive as well. But it looked like Betty had got a hold of a toilet roll and just shredded it. That That's what this look looks like to me. Um, I'm not a fan. It's not going to be one that I would be investing in personally. On the right person, I think it would probably look utterly fabulous, but they have really played around with some interesting fabrics, which I love, you know, fashion is about trying new things. You know, there's only so many times that you can repeat the same thing. So it is about trying new things and doing things that are a little bit more out there. And so I love that they are doing that. Personally, it's just not something that is wearable for me. Runway, absolutely, but popping that into kind of someone's everyday life. I mean, can you imagine getting out the car? That long tassel would get shut in the car door so many times it would be ridiculous and it would just be filthy. So it's just not practical in my opinion. And I'm just not a huge fan of how it looks either. But good on you Zimmerman for trying out different fabrics and doing different things. I still love you, I really, really do. Okay, and my last kind of theme that I'm gonna go through today is the skirt over trouser theme. Now this is actually in a jumpsuit. So they showed this in a jumpsuit and it just looks like that kind of was the asymmetric skirt over the trousers. And it reminded me of the deal show last week of the skirt over the shorts. So I was like, ah, oh, okay. So this is hopefully gonna be a theme that's gonna be reoccurring in all the fashion houses and I am here for it. I just think it's just really fun, really unusual and just I love it actually. It just means that you're comfortable, you've got that masculine feel but you've got that feminine feel as well mixing in so it's it's a nice outfit, it's a nice way to dry something a little bit different and I just really am liking it. I do prefer the Dior version if I'm completely honest with you but Zimmerman I love that as well. Okay so my overall feelings of this collection with Zimmerman. Now you have probably guessed it, it unfortunately isn't my favourite collection and I am just being completely and utterly honest with you um it's not it's not my favorite i i missed the big like 
voluminous sleeves that Zimmerman have, i.e. like this, you know, this is a Zimmerman piece and I love that volume that comes with Zimmerman and I'm hoping that there will be some other bits released as we go through the year that have got that but there wasn't really any of that at all in this collection. Um, I loved the colour, that skirt, as I said, you know, I was I had such high hopes because that was the first skirt that came out and I was like, yes, I love it, this collection is going to be amazing. But unfortunately it didn't really get any better than that skirt. Um, I do really love it and I am hopefully looking to maybe save up to buy it when it comes available, but um, it is a beautiful one. And I love the high low detail of the skirt and I'd be really pleased if that is something that does come back for um, spring, summer next year. But yeah, the colors as always, lovely. The location of the runway, I loved it. I thought that was absolutely brilliant and so, so Zimmerman but there were just some key pieces of, well, Zimmerman, actually, that were missing from this collection, I feel. It was trying to be so high fashion, and I don't know, maybe, maybe that's not Zimmerman, I don't, I'm not sure. It wasn't my favourite, there were some pieces that I really liked, but there were some pieces that I was a bit like, oh no, what is that? So, I, I mixed feelings with this collection from Zimmerman. Anyway, let me know your thoughts guys, that is the end of the video, I hope that you've enjoyed it, I hope it's not been a bit like higgledy piggledy because my thoughts have been up and down with this collection and so I hope the video isn't up and down with it but I think it probably is so I hope that you enjoyed it anyway. As always give the video a thumbs up, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and guys I will catch you all in the next one. Take care, bye! Oh by the way, Next Sunday, the vlogs are back. I will be unboxing <laughs> some Christian Dior loafers. I cannot wait to show you them. I really hope they're lovely. So do stay tuned. Bye.